written down and whenever we finish the presentation we will take your questions thank you This is typically the value chain of uh, the PET film business where we predominantly operate. We okay. uh, basically, we have two ba major raw materials for us, which is PTA and the MEG. And uh, uh, PTA basically comes from oil, whereas MEG comes from both oil as well as from gas, depending upon the manufacturer. Uh, we convert this PTA and MEG into raisins, polyester chips, also popularly known, which is, uh, for, for us, it's film-grade polyester raisin. And then we convert that polyester raisin into film. The film which typically comes out is a plain commodity film. Uh, we do some coating of it on it, which is chemically coating, or we do metallizing on it. We do silicon coating. We do coating of LDPE or EVA on it to add some value, which then become the value added products for us, as well as we sell the plain film. Most of our film goes into packaging. So converters, as we know them uh, in, the, in, in the supply chain, are our major customers. Some of our film also goes for industrial usages and other uh, usages. ของโปรเจกต์ทั้งสองตัวทั้งหมู่มองดูนะครับจากทางด้านซ้ายนะครับของสไลด์ที่ทั้งตัวเอ็มอีจีแล้วก็พีทีเอนะครับซึ่งได
ก็เป็นน้ํามันดิบนะครับแน่นอนว่าน้ํามันดิบนะครับซึ่งก็ส่งผลกระทบโดยตรงนะครับกับวัตถุดิบของเราทั้ง2ตัวทั้ง PTA แล้วก็ MBG ต้นทุนในเรื่องเกี่ยวกับพลังงานไม่ว่าจะเป็นค่านะครับเชื้อเพลิงค่าไฟรวมทั้งต้นทุนในเรื่องเกี่ยวกับลอจิสติกซึ่งทั้งหมดนี้นะครับส่งผลต่อเป็นส่วนประกอบของต้นทุนเรานะครับ 60% Uh, for for companies like us, which are mainly export-oriented, uh, currency fluctuations, as well as the trade barriers or the or the or the FTAs which are there in place, have a significant impact. Of course, the most important is the demand-supply balance. Uh, that, that that is the biggest factor which determines the end price of the film. This is just to give you some idea about <coughs> what, how much of thin film and how much of thick film are there in this industry. Typically, 75% of the entire polyester film industry is thin. 25% is thick. Uh, packaging is the biggest segment in terms of the share in the entire polyester film industry. About 50% of the whole and almost 67% of thin film is packaging segment. For thick film, the biggest uh, segment is the industrial and the electrical segment, and which is where we are we are planning to enter now with our new thick film line. If you see in this, the, the 2009 and 2014 estimated uh, estimations for the demand growth, it is very clear that the, that the industry is growing at a very healthy pace. Uh, the, the growth is almost 8 to 9 percent on a CAGR basis for next five years estimated. And in the, even in the past, it has been at somewhere around 7 to 8 percent for both thin as well as thick. If you see this graph, uh, this basically depicts the growth of the polyester film industry as compared to the world GDP growth rate, which clearly states or indicates that this industry is still in its growth phase and it will take some time before it enter enters the matured stage of its, of its life cycle. Within this also, if you see, uh, the growth in the packaging segment is what has been driving the growth of the polyester film overall in the past. In the future, apart from the growth in the packaging segment, also the growth in the electrical and industrial use for thick film is going to drive the growth. This is just a graphical again representation of the growth that we expect uh, that has been achieved in the past and that we expect in the future in the demand. The main reasons for this growth has been mainly the, devel the developing economies of the world in the Asian markets, 
like uh, India, China, China especially, um, Indonesia, Thailand, Taiwan, uh, Philippines. Uh, these have